far, more than a million and a half people in North Carolina have been tested for COVID-19. Local labs are now processing more than 30,000 tests a day. Tonight, 1,188 people are in the hospital, setting another new record, and there were 28 more deaths on Wednesday. That's three days in a row with at least 26 deaths reported. And those numbers are concerning for people working in the funeral industry. They're asking Governor Cooper to allow hospitals to release the cause of death to funeral homes. New at 11, CBS 17's Mackenzie Stasco is digging deeper. Mackenzie. Angela Marius, we don't often think of it, but funeral workers are also on the front lines against this fight, too. But because of HIPAA laws, they don't always know who died of COVID, which puts them at risk for exposure. Funeral workers like Orrin Haywood Jr. step up when someone's battle with COVID-19 is over. It's definitely a substantial risk. Helping transport them from a hospital or nursing home to here, where families say farewell. We've had uh, uh, COVID uh, victims here, and we uh, have been able to, to service the family as best we could. Haywood tells me most families warn him that their loved one died of the virus, but not all hospitals or nursing homes do. My question is, uh, why were we not given that information. The North Carolina Board of Funeral Service sent this letter to Governor Cooper and other state officials, writing that the Department of Health and Human Services is telling hospitals and health care facilities to withhold the cause of death to funeral workers. We just simply ask that this information be disclosed to us so that we can protect our frontline workers when engaging a, a decedent that has potentially died from this disease or, disease or has been diagnosed with it. Blake tells me most places are citing HIPAA laws which protect patient information but leave funeral workers at risk for exposure. He's asking the State Commission of Health to add COVID-19 to a list of infectious diseases facilities are required to disclose. I mean, it's not like we're uh, going to spread information out. It's, it's only for our protection. Now, Blake tells me he has not heard back from the state regarding that letter and his requests. He says if the state does not help, he plans on reaching out to state lawmakers instead. I also reached out to the State Department of Health and Human Services regarding this story. I'll let you know once I hear back. Live in Raleigh, Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News.